Hello friends, so today we talk about the basic concepts of using graphs to analyze data. Uh, for example, the, uh, the mechanical engineer must make sure that components are produced according to the specification properly. So he, he can collect data by measuring the components dimension, uh, X, Y and Z dimensions. The data may be a list of the number of defects or a table of X, Y and Z dimension of each sample. So how can the engineer make sense of the data he collects? One of the best ways to understand a process is to graph the data that describe the processes. A long list of numbers is usually not practical for conveying information. Well, graphs let us quickly learn about the nature of the process. Graphs truly show that a picture is worth a thousand words. When we read the definition of, uh, of short circuit case, we may confuse. We may confuse. However, adding pictures is is clear help us to understand what is a short circuit case. Displaying data in a graph have, has the same effect. A graph shows trends, patterns, and distributions that a table of raw data might not have reviewed. Different graphs can emphasize different characteristics of the same data. Let's review. Graphs are essential for making sense of the data we collect. A picture is worth a thousand words, and a graph is more informative than a long list of numbers. And there are many, many kinds of graphs to help us understand different aspects of our data. Thank you for the listening. In the next. A lesson we we'll talk about bar chart, Brito chart, and pie chart.